What makes you think I've got good jokes? I have terrible jokes. My favourite joke is quite literally, uh, why can't a bike stand up by itself? Because it's too tired. It's not even funny, but it's hilarious. A wrecked. Ah, I was gonna hit them. It goes fine. That's fair. This. Here goes. This. Uh -oh. It also depends on who you're talking to as well. Like, there are definitely jokes that I would make around my friends that I would not make around my family. Well, certain people in my family. <laughs> And stuff like that. That's probably the only helpful tip I can probably give you. It's like read the room sort of thing. Yeah, there's not a lot else we can really do for people. Freezer Force Soldier, Crackle, Alpha Team, can you hear me? There's giant fish your way. Come on, damn, not an answer. Guess means we can say whatever we want. Give us more money. We don't enough this kind of work. That's fair. Whee! It's Ginyu and Jace. You've got some real guts, you know that. The cat was gonna make you pay for what you did, dearly. So this is the guy, huh? His power level's around five thousand. Just like we said, makes no sense, right? Absurd. Relying too much on your scouter is a rookie mistake. Don't be a fool. Most likely, he has the ability to instantly increase his power. From what I can tell, I'd say his true power level is somewhere around 60,000. 60,000? 60,000? Saints don't have that much power? Promising. This will be an enjoyable battle, the first in a long time. Never use curse words, rip. Or we'll just replace it with something else. <laughs> All right. Why make it slightly this, funnier? Vegeta. You take that smaller guy over there. Just buy like a really bad joke book and then just go through that. <laughs> Kakarot and Ginyu are more or less equal in terms of power. Dedication is funnier than just random funny jokes. If I'm lucky enough, maybe the two of them might take each other out. I don't think that's fair enough. This is the end of the line for you. Well, wow. thanks for Jeter. Here I go. Fuck you too. I know I just got here, but let's get this show on the road. But not for long. The mighty Captain Ginyu will put you in your Do I do I deal with Ginyu first or do with Jace first? Being that much of a pain in the ass in a minute. So. Unbelievable. 
I thought I would hit both him and Jace. Never mind. Oh, come on, I was holding down left trigger. Oh, so I like how the game made a point that in the overworld, if you go underwater, you have a you have like a breath bar and stuff, because you can't breathe underwater, funnily enough. But then in fights, it's like, ah, you're fine. Oh, he is in there. I thought I thought he turned invisible, or he teleported or something. Two hundred sixty-seven thousand XP. Hey, level thirty. There you go. Are, are you? No, no, you can't be. Are you? Are you a Super Saiyan? A Super Saiyan? What's that? Vegeta said something about that too. I have no idea what you guys are talking about. Super Saiyan? Why did you can cross the street mean, to rival on the side? You mean the legendary I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> Big good reason to cross the street. Is this guy really the only thing in the universe that even Lord Frieza is afraid of? I don't know about that. But what I do know is that I'd like to avoid fighting if I can. So listen up. Just leave the planet. I'm saying this for your own good. What? Are you joking? No, I'm serious. I don't want to kill you guys if I don't have to. I've heard that the Super Saiyan is the ultimate warrior. One that lives only for battle and bloodshed. Oh, oh I get it. You're not actually a Super Saiyan, are you? But be that as it may, your power is still far greater than my own power. <laughs> What's funny? Jace, take my scouter. What, what are you doing? <laughs> Body of yours is pretty strong. Right, he stabs himself, yes, by the way. I think I'll take it. There should be a hole of blood and everything, but, you know, too PG for that. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Goku question what? mark? What's going on? Ginyu question mark. What am I doing all the way over there? We've made a trade. Your body is mine now. Hey, Captain, here's your skill. Right. Now, back to the ship. It's possible Lord Frieza may have returned already. <laughs> It's just veins, so yeah. Damaged his own body. No, it's just big brain power. It all makes sense now. I'm in serious trouble. If I don't hurry, I'm... Wait, no. He's gonna meet up with Krillin and the others. That's it. Wait a second. Even if I make it back to Earth... Chi Chi probably wouldn't be all too happy seeing me the way I am right now. <laughs> hey, Sacred Text Martial Arts. It's really nice because we need that for the Z stuff. So that should Max Goku out. Or it Goku won't be much out. longer until he's here. You must go, Dinde. Unhurry. 
Those earthlings need you. Uh, okay, I understand, but please don't die, Grand Elder Guru. Bye, little green. I suppose I let this one live. There's no sense wasting my time with a single speck of dust. What do you want? Greetings and salutations. My name is Frieza, and I've come to your humble little planet in search of the Dragon Balls. Fear not, as I have already managed to gather all seven of them. Though it would seem I am unable to draw upon their power. Hey, Amber, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. I thought someone was going to call me out on it. I mean, we'll get there, trust me. Like, the thing with the titles now is I know what's coming, so I can sort of change the title accordingly. <laughs> Uh, I was I, I was tempted to put a oh wait wrong game uh, at the end of it, but I thought that's a bit of a long-winded title. But there you go. Which is what brings me to the lot of you. Tell me what I must do in order to grant my wish. I suggest you leave. We have no intention of telling monsters like you. I would be more forthcoming Rude. if I were you. Although I do not intend to kill you, I will use force if necessary. Next you uh, how to make good jokes. I'm glad I could help, I guess. <laughs> there are two of you, yes. I don't care which one of you it I is. I think I was that much of help, but hey, if you me. thought it was helpful, then awesome. <laughs> Fine. If that's how it's going to be, then we'll fight. But know this. Grand Elder Guru, the creator of the Dragon Balls, resides here. If you kill him... The Dragon Balls will disappear as well. Hmm? Neil, my son. You must hold him off as long as you can. Why would you tell him that? Understood, Understood my lord. Purple hook? What? I see. But I'm curious. Don't you wonder if he'll still refuse to is it tell his tail? me what I need to know when he sees that you're about to die? I won't go down as easy as you think. But we're not going. Grand Elder Guru oh, sorry. doesn't have much longer to live. He's moving and hit A by accident. Fighting here would only hasten his end. Oh, very well then. Please tell me I don't have to fight Freezer as Nail. I get the feeling I'm going to, aren't I? Oh my, that's quite impressive. You've somehow managed to raise your power level to 42,000. Such a feat for the likes of you. But just to give you a sense of scale, allow me to inform you of what you're truly up against. My power level, you see, is 530,000. Rest wow. assured, however, I haven't the same. Our level machine really does go burr. How kind of me. That's enough! Oh, thank God, I don't think I do. Oh, thank God. Such an awkward fight. I think you do it in one of the Budokai games, and it's not fun. Actually, fighting Freezer in any of the Budokai games is not fun. Dragon Balls. They're either hidden somewhere, or Freezer's holding on to them. Wherever they are, those Earth I mean, pff, are I don't know if you fight Freezer. What? Of theirs. But before they get the chance, I must mask my power. They'll quickly realize I'm here otherwise. This should work. Once those runs summon that Shenron creature, I'll kill them and get my wish granted. It won't be long until I run into them. I should change into a new battle suit while I have the chance. Games Everyone, don't make, uh, most games don't make sense. That's fair. That's why we love them. Gotcha. Let's go, Gohan. <sighs> oh, yay! Bad playing is go hard. Woohoo! Right, now's our chance. I hope my dad's all right. 
How can a super small character kill huge monsters? Guns? <laughs> what do you mean? Like, power is a thing. Uh, there's something else to unlock, right? Super recovery, sure. Probably a hundred blue orbs. Still, I wonder what sort of training Goku had to go through to get so strong. It's like uh, it's like poisonous spiders can kill an elephant. Somewhere near it. That's little tiny thing against giant elephant. Spider wins because poison. Looks like no one's around. Now's our chance to look for the Dragon Balls. So that's not that's not super far fetched. So they actually buried them in the ground. Uh, why did Goku and Hulk switch bodies? Uh, uh, <laughs> okay, the title's for later. We haven't gotten to that bit yet. Um, huh, we've got all but of no, Ginyu now. switched bodies with Goku because Goku's body has a higher power level than his than his did. Uh, so he switched bodies to get stronger. Uh, so that's where they are. Hurry and summon that Shenron creature, you fools. Once that thing makes an appearance. I'll trash the kids and finally make my wish for immortality. Harunga How do you do that? Uh, well, it's what it's one of his powers that he has. Right. Come forth, Shinran. He's an alien. And grant our wishes. Uh, nothing cool. happened. What's going on? Where's Where's Shinran? Maybe the phrase you use is different to summon him here. Damn it. What the hell are those two doing? Quillen, mm. someone's coming this way. <laughs> yeah, there's two of them. And they got some wicked power. One of them's that Ginyu guy. D does, does that mean my dad lost? <laughs> what the? Goku. Did you beat Ginyu and befriend one of his men or something like that? Whoa, they dug up the Dragon Balls! How did you do that? With our hands? What? <laughs> Why are they questioning how they dug it up? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, we brought a shovel with us. we used the Dragon Radar. A Dragon Radar? So, did you already make your wish? Well, it's the craziest thing. We tried to summon Shinron, but it just won't work. How does he not notice the scouter? Or the change in his voice? Or, you know, his power feeling different? Uh, you, know, you know, all that sort of stuff. something different about you, Goku. Uh, and, you know, the evil look on his face. Place it. All of those things. That's a scouter, isn't it? Why are you wearing one of those, Goku? Krillin! That's not my dad! Huh? You're not my Go real on. dad! What do you mean it's not your dad? I don't know how to explain it, but I know it's not him. This body no longer belongs to that Saiyan. I couldn't resist its power, so I took it. Hey, Angelic, good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Is that Aussie alien to just make friends with? Wait, I mean, who wouldn't want to be friends with an Aussie alien? Aussie alien. Jesus Christ. <sighs> From space Australia. Hmm? And you're... Go on. That's not me. <laughs> wow, you actually made it this far. <laughs> That's correct. I am the mighty leader of the Ginyu Force, Captain Ginyu. <laughs> oh my God. No. Good old Space Australia, be. exactly. That's my dad. Bodies. All this really complicates things. Go on, Krillin. I know you two have what it takes to get rid of this guy. Don't hold anything back. Really let him have it. I 
can't. You're talking as if you think they can win. Remember, this is your body. Yeah, you're right about one thing. That's my body, not yours. As long as my mind is separated from it, you can't unleash the full power it's capable of. I put a password on it. Ha <laughs> ha The great Captain Ginyu will not fall for such tricks. Let me join in a fight, Captain. I can totally make Do this that. No. Trust me. Come on. No. <laughs> well then, if you're looking for a fight, why don't you try me on for size? Vegeta. When, when did you? I think the interesting thing is that Captain Ginyu keeps all of his moves. Like it's it's not even that he gets like Kamehameha and like all of Goku stuff. So although he does get the power of Goku, he doesn't become Goku. If that makes sense. Yeah. 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 He's level 23, I've just realized. Whee! Why is Dragon Planet so weird? What's wrong, What's wrong with Namek? I mean, it would be boring if it looked exactly like us, right? Super Saiyan Goku. Ah! Goku is now dead. Well, Goku's body is now dead. He's level 26. I suppose it's because Ginyu isn't used to the body, so he's not as strong. Also, fun fact, uh, Captain Ginyu's body, as in the purple one, isn't his original body. Um, I I think it's only one person has seen his true form, um, like his original body. Uh, and it was, I want to say it was Apple, which is one of the random uh, freezer soldiers that you can find. That is a fun fact, there you go. So yeah, it's not even any any of the Ginyu Force. It's just uh, it's a random named uh, dude. Like, even Freeze hasn't seen it. But Apple, Raspberry, it's one of the two. I think it was Apple. It's cute green though. Uh, it's more lime green, I think. Or limeish green. Is that the sun? Where? That one, yes. That, yeah. Yeah! Easy. 212,000. That's too hard to do. Ah, my eyes! No! Space Australia! No! This can't be happening! Chase couldn't have been defeated so easily! Well, Space Australia's dead. Die! He's gonna do it! Wow. Bastard. How dare you? How dare you? <laughs> Looks like I'm back to being me again. What, what the hell just happened? What was that just now? That feels like my dad, all right. 
My dad! He's back in his own body! Damn it! This time... This time I'm taking Vegeta's body! I mean, you probably have to ask for consent uh -oh. first, but... If he switches places with Vegeta... Okay. We're all <laughs> done for! Not good! Now! Your body is mine, Vegeta! Whoa, is that a frog? Perfect. That's weird. Change! That's the thing that yes. happens. <laughs> I did it. I turned him into a frog. <laughs> it's the D&D frog. It's not as gruesome. It's the, that's what becomes the D&D frog. It's actually Captain Ginyu. <laughs> no, Nail! And he was doing so well. Tell me how to use the Dragon Balls. Tell me, and I'll put an end to your suffering. Fun fact, uh, we won't see it in this game, uh, but Captain Ginyu does make a return in his frog form. I may not be able to kill that elder of yours, but you, on the other hand, are expected. Like, it's much later. It's in Super, so it's not covered in this one. Consider this your final warning. It's a pretty I'm pretty sure he does. my wish, or die! <laughs> <laughs> it's too late the for you. Some nails, a. Dende is on his way to meet the Earthlings. He he's going to tell them how to use the Dragon Balls. What? What? Lol, get played. Curse you! You were merely wasting my time, weren't you? Maybe. I'm not picking up a signal from the Ginyu Force. No! All five of them couldn't have. They couldn't have all been defeated. Freeze is very panicky in this game. I don't remember him no. being this distraught Something with stuff. Something happened between Vegeta, the Earthlings, and the Ginyu Force. And the Dragon Balls! I know he gets annoyed at this bit and then flies off. But it's like when Vegeta woke up in the ship. He, like, Freezer was running around the ship trying to find him with uh, Zarbon. I wonder if you could wish for the power to create Dragon Balls. This medical machine here, it should put you back in prime condition before you know it. Oh, God, I hope nothing bad happens before well he wakes give up. You some battle suits while we're at it. That way, you'll at least be somewhat protected. Huh? Battle suits? You mean like that one? I don't really like how it looks. <laughs> Whoa, this is crazy. It's super lightweight. It feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. In the way. We have all sorts of room to move. Oh no, Windows Defender found no viruses on your PC? Isn't that a good thing? It's not working? No, it means you haven't got any viruses on your computer, right? Go on. Well, you probably don't have you any. Head over to Guru's place while Goku's Damn it, sexy Kira, Kira, Kirin. What monster hunter, please? <laughs> I'm not a furry, I promise. If we don't find out how to summon Shinron, then we came all the way out here for nothing. 
Stupid, sexy Krillin right. is the one. Let's get going. Go find out how to activate the Dragon Balls. I am going to rest up before this fight with Frieza. Uh, okay. <laughs> she flops. <laughs> she face plants the floor, sleep. <laughs> Hope we don't run into him first. <gasps> Side quests. Wee. Sup, evil doer. Got you fight, Karen. <laughs> you you mentioned that yesterday. That you haven't done it yet, but you can do it. You just haven't done it yet. Oh come on, they've got to be somewhere. The freezer force. Damn it, they found me. Oh. We have to take him out. Uh, okay. Fight me, Melon. Rogue Chief, Melon. No, it was Chef, wasn't it? All right. Uh, you want you want to throw down? You really want to fight? Damn it! Oh, that was the wrong button. Ooh. You're wrong. Oh. No! Ow, 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 ow. Huh? There's a pushover. I give up. I give up. You guys win. Just leave me alone. But, but what? You really got to kick a guy when he's down? No, we're just... Uh, we're not gonna. We're not. Uh, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so then, leave me alone, uh, would you? Okay. Look okay. at that. <laughs> wow, you actually listen to me? Wait, you guys aren't part of the freezer force, are you? Uh, I don't recognize you. <laughs> oh right, you probably uh, thought you were cause the uniforms. <sighs> Jeez, you're trying to trick me or something? I thought you guys were just here to drag me back to the base. Sorry for the confusion. Well, just make sure it doesn't happen again, okay? Seriously, man. <sighs> Wait, why are we apologizing to him? What's a Freezer Force soldier doing out here? And why does the, the sight of other soldiers scare you? Like I said before, I thought you were trying to drag me back to the base. Uh, I'm a bit of a celebrity chef in the force. Uh, you guys heard of me, right? I'm the famous chef Malone. Uh, sorry, but we haven't heard of you. But what? Guess I need to get my name out there a little more. Whatever. The whole reason I joined the force was so I could uh, get uh, dispatched to this planet. You see, on Namek, you have access to special fruits that can only be found here. I really wanted to get my hands on some, so I snuck away from the force uh, from the force to see them. Was a fine look for them. Uh, just to see them, not to get them. Uh, <laughs> so that's why you're worried about being forced to go back. I had no idea Namek had fruit like that. Uh, you could see them for yourself if you help me out. I'm not pulling uh, any tricks, I swear. What do you think, Krillin? Knowing you, I bet you want to help this guy out, huh, Gohan? <laughs> <laughs> Music to my ears. Thanks a bunch. All right, uh, I'm looking for yucca melons, uh, ajiza oranges, and uh, rolo nuts. <laughs> so where can we find the, uh, those fruits? If I knew, I wouldn't be struggling out, uh, like I am. But according to the computer, the melons can be found in rocky areas. As for the oranges, you're not going to believe this, but they apparently grow on the roots of trees here. Isn't that wild? And the rollo nuts? Yeah, rollo nuts grow on trees in the highlands and ripen by falling to the ground and rolling away. Uh, so you'll probably find them in places down and away from the trees. No clue where uh, where that would be exactly. Hmm. Uh, they could even end up rolling into the ocean. Fun. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you could check that too. Anyway, find them all the fruit and I'll give you a reward. <laughs> That's very creepy to say to a child, dude. Uh, okay, let's find the fruit and come you. back. Because Gohan's what? 10? In this? I actually don't know. Yay, rolling up. Wow, this thing is hard. Can you even crack it open? 
A nut that is hard. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This could be a yucky melon. Ew, it's all slimy. Ugh. Slimy yet satisfying. What's the other one? Easy. Like a moist pear. Mmm. Well, I'm not thinking about that, to be honest. <laughs> Hi. Like a mango. Yeah, probably. Uh, we're back. Uh, I think we found everything you, uh, you're looking for. <laughs> Way to go, guys! Looks like you were uh, you were the right people for the job. You handed over the Look items. That. Let's see. Yucca melon. One bite of its succulent flesh fills the mouth with the most delectable juice and sends your taste buds to another world. Uh, for most people, it's just a tasty fruit, but for a certain race, eating it gives them quite the rush. Wow, I had no idea. So it's a drug fruit. Okay. Uh, a Jesus orange. Uh, it's almost overwhelmingly sweet fragrance is uh, uh, complemented by a fresh orange scent. Of course, the flavor is even better, and its soft skin is a delight to eat as well. Plus, it triggers a special reaction in the body that temporarily increases the power of whoever eats it uh, se several fold. He's gonna, he's gonna become powerful and fight, isn't he? Uh, why are game taxes in Brazil so high? Hmm. I, uh, I forgot about that. I think I heard that a while ago. Um. But I've no idea. Maybe because they don't want people buying games. Wait, isn't it only recently that the Switch has gone to Brazil or something? Is that a thing? I feel like I saw the announcement for that, like, this month, I think? Last month? Uh, but just like the Yucca Melon, the effect only applies to a certain race. It's gonna be his race, isn't it? Um, you keep mentioning a certain race. What race are you talking about? <laughs> you mean you haven't figured it out by now? Wait. That's right, I'm talking about my race! Uh, Malone ate the yucca fruit, uh, uh, yucca melon, and a Jesus orange. What about the Rolo fruit? Oh, the Yolo, Rolo nut, <laughs> Yolo nut. <laughs> wow, this key's way higher than before. <laughs> See, I was a king before I mentioned the effects of these fruits that I have on my body. Uh, I, I don't believe it. He tricked us. <laughs> this feels great. Now then, as for you two. I'm going to I'm going to make you the ultimate fruit juice. Huh? Huh? <laughs> My newfound power, I now have the strength to crack open the Rolo nut. <laughs> of course. That's right. I need the yucca fruit and the Jesus orange to open the Rolo nut. Uh, but make no mistake, the melon will add a rich flavour to the juice, and its uh, orange fragrant aroma will add a nice finishing touch to the beverage. Wahaha! <laughs> huh. Huh. Are you okay? Yeah. I guess my body was uh, extra, uh, extra sensitive to the effects of the fruit. Anyway, uh, I've finished making the juice. Here, please take it uh, Take it as a token of my gratitude for helping out. Gohan got the ultimate fruit thank juice. So uh, thank you. Phew, that took a lot uh, lot out of me. Uh, I think i uh, got to take a little break. I hope you, uh, to come up with another tasty concoction using these ingredients. <laughs> this guy uh, really likes his food, yeah. huh? Yeah, uh, I, thought, I thought for sure he was going to fight us, uh. though. Same here. I actually started to charge my key. I mean, he clearly, uh, li uh, uh, he clearly looked like he was scheming something. Yeah, and he's, uh, and his laugh sounded really oh, evil. No. Why are you staring at me? Cut it out! I know I'm a famous chef, but you're making me blush. <laughs> the freezer force is full of some really weird people. Whoa, we did it! Yeah! Is 
Lucky villain? Nah, he's just a cool dude. Uh... I think we're good. There's no other side things to do or anything. Oh, I'm guessing that you also get a Dragon Raider at some point in the game, so you can find the Dragon Balls. Because you can find Dragon Balls in this, it's just... Because I wasn't expecting that to go so quickly. On the move. Wait, that power. Uh, okay, well I was going to do before going over there, because I thought we were sort of close, but whatever. Uh, I'm just going to run to the bathroom real quick, so we're back in just a sec. No, going back. Sorry about that. I was just, uh, I, I was on my way back up. I was looking at the differences between the Xbox Series X and Xbox Series S, considering this, uh, the S is like a lot cheaper and smaller and stuff like that. Uh, and I was intrigued what the actual difference was. And it is the S is, according to leaks, uh, slightly less powerful um, and has about half the storage and stuff. It still seems pretty good, but given that it's. Uh, how much cheaper is it? 200 quid cheaper? It's fair enough. Uh, but anyway. Ugh. Hey, how's it going? Uh, do you know, okay, means... Also known as... Yes, I did. Sorry, I was just... <laughs> I had to read that, I was like... Yeah, but, yeah, that's what AKA stands for. Yeah. It's low green. Villain, gone. What are you doing here? Sorry for leaving everyone with the uh, flying sound effects. Uh, well, we finally collected the Dragon Balls, but we can't do anything with them. <gasps> oh no! You know, we thought we'd head to Guru's place and ask him what to do. I knew it. This is perfect. Grand Elder Guru told me to find you two and tell you how to use the Dragon Balls. You won't be able to make a wish unless you say it in the Namekian language. Namekian, huh? I guess that would explain why it didn't work before. We need to hurry. Grand Elder Guru doesn't have much time. Frieza might be on his way here as we speak. Uh, right. Oh yeah, what about Vegeta? He said he was gonna rest up, right? Yeah. He's probably still sleeping. Good. Lazy we bum. Make sure we're extra stealthy on the way back. <laughs> uh, made it. So how's 
Vegeta. Uh, he's still sleeping. Why is he not asleep in the ship? Well, he's been in his fair share of battles recently. Unless he was outside just in case anyone showed up or something. Now's our chance which clearly went super well. We'll make our wishes. We gotta grab the Dragon Balls and make our way out of here without waking him up. Even if Shenron wakes him up, we should still have enough time if we're far enough away. Alright. It looks like Vegeta doesn't even know we're here. Yeah. Someone's coming this way. They're super fast. Yeah. It's Frieza. Hurry, did they? Do what you need to do to help us make our wishes. But right. Takarato popurunga popurito paro. They're glowing. And the sky. It's getting dark. Just like the Dragon Balls on Earth. Oh yeah. Beefy Shenron. You have or thick Shenron. All seven Dragon Balls. Now, state your wishes. Mm, that's not right. I shall grant you any three wishes that are within Pretty sure Purunga speaks in Namekian the entire time, doesn't he? Uh, whoa, that Namekian Shenron is... Because Dende translates dragon. for him, doesn't he? Hurry, tell me your wishes before Vegeta or Frieza get here. Yeah. Oh, uh, right. Because that day has to give them in Namekian. First, ask him to bring back everyone on Earth who was killed by the Saiyans. Banda Parura, Ruti Nararu, Ban Paritsu, Kumera Tohero, Runchiro, Itash Kunchpa, Pontero, Rupche! I am unable to grant that wish. I am only capable of bringing back one person at a time. God, good job, Paranga. What? Useless. Uh, oh no! So yeah, so Paranga can give you three wishes, but he can only bring one person back at a time. Whereas Shenron can bring back multiple people, but you only get one wish at a time. Hey, let me talk to Gohan. Hurry! Okay, okay. Place your hand on my shoulder to talk to him. Thanks. Gohan, can you hear me? It's Piccolo. Mr. Piccolo? Listen up and listen good, okay? I know what's going on there. That first wish of yours, use it to bring me back. If I'm back, then Kami will be as well. You have to trust me on this. We can use the Dragon Balls on Earth to resurrect everybody else. We can bring them back. Yeah, that's right. I totally forgot about that. And as for the second wish, you have to make him send me to Namek. I want to make that wretched Frieza suffer slowly for slaughtering my people. I'm a lot stronger now thanks to the training I've done. I know I can beat him. You have to warp me to Namek. Wait, bring me back to life so then the Dragon Balls work okay, again. And then teleport me to the most dangerous place Good. possible Do so then if I die, the Dragon Balls get fucked again. Dinde, ask him if he can bring back Piccolo. He was a Namekian that used to be on Earth. Okay, you said his name was Piccolo, right? Tetorapto Poto Piccolo, Pupimero Papi Moposo, Patorate Morimpe, Puri Pupas, Puya Kirigo, Oloteku Horoxa, Pero Pupo! Understood. I will grant your first wish. Pop. <laughs> Come <laughs> Piccolo. What the fuck? What is this? <laughs> what in the world are you up to? She starts freaking out. <laughs> For our second wish, 
Please ask him to take Piccolo, the guy we just. Also, why does Kami go back to Earth? And then warp him Weird. Straight here to Namek. Okay. Because with Piccolo, he just loses his halo on King Kai's planet. So he's back alive. It just, yeah, but I don't know. It's weird. Consider it done. I shall grant your second wish. Yeah, it's Piccolo. So this is Planet Namek, the home of my people. Not sure why, but there's something familiar about it. With that. <laughs> Now's not the time to get emotional. I need to find Gohan and the others. I'm sensing a mass of energy in the distance. Oh, it must be that monster Frieza. I sense three huge powers near there. They've got to be Gohan and the others. Hey, Piccolo got 643,000 XP. I thought for sure Frieza was on his way here, but what the hell is going on? Why is it dark outside? There's no night on this planet. Oh yeah, I forgot there's no night on Namek. What the hell is that monstrosity? Those Dragon Balls and those twerps, they're gone. That beast must be the Shenron creature those two were talking about. Ugh, I can't believe they took the Dragon Balls right from under my nose. Damn them! So yeah, so although it seems like Goku arrived like the same day they arrived, that's why I thought they were already there for a few hours, because there's no night. But apparently six days have passed in this entire thing. Wait, he granted our wish? Then where's Piccolo? Well, you did ask to have him sent to this planet, but but you didn't say where. <laughs> in a volcano. Did you want me to have him sent here? No, now what are we supposed to do? Uh. Oh, you actually thought you can trick me? You're going to pay for that! How could you be so stupid? Get it through your head! Frieza can't be defeated unless I'm immortal! Oh, Shenron. Oh, yeah. We get three wishes! It's thick, Shenron. So that means... There's still one left. W what are you doing, Gohan? Well, now that's what I like to hear. Now then, make me immortal. Frieza's already on his way here. Look at him. Hold on. Extra thick. Do you not have a final wish? <laughs> Stop wasting my time. We're out of options at this point. Hurry, Tinte. Grant Vegeta's wish. I hate to admit it, but he's our best shot at getting out of this mess. Okay, I'll ask Purunga. Yes, finally! Frieza has no hope of beating me now. Even if I don't have the strength to beat him, I'll eventually wear him down. <laughs> okay, here goes. Dragons disappeared. The Dragon Balls, they're, they're oh. stone. G Grand Elder Guru, he's gone. He finally died. What, what do you mean? The, what about my immortality? Uh, I'm sorry. to him, yeah. It's weird because I thought. Uh, oh no. I thought Frieza kills Paranga. Well, you've really done it now, haven't you? You have destroyed my dream of attaining true immortality. I thought he did. The most and that's why he disappears. Fashion. I didn't think Gooch dies. As for the lack of response from the Ginyu Force, I suppose I have got garlic to bread. Play. Why would you tell us that? Because now you I have to share. It's the law. What has happened, but this is a rather surprising oh, turn I haven't, of I haven't had garlic bread in ages. I want really crispy garlic bread. How could I have foreseen the Dragon Balls turning to stone just yeah, as I was about to make my wish a reality? I'm not really hungry. Thanks for that. <laughs> I can only imagine Vegeta's disappointment, though it pales in comparison to my own.
This is a first, to be sure. No one has ever been foolish enough to make a mockery of me on such a grand scale. Is Krillin taller than Freezer? You worms will pay for this! I'm going to make your deaths long and painful! None of you will escape my wrath! Are I the same Prepare height, or he might be slightly taller? We're... we're doomed! It's pizza, huh, garlic bread? Fair enough. What is his power level? There's no way we can beat someone like this! Of course. Did you really think three measly ants could defeat a dinosaur? We can beat you. Do you know what they There's should do? Power between the three of they should us sell garlic down. bread as a normal bread loaf. The power level of those two keep rising. Do you know the sort of ones you make for toast and stuff like that? Just make it garlic bread. So then when you put it in the toaster, it comes out as garlic bread. Oh my god, that'd be amazing. I know you get like the baguettes and stuff, but like, no, just like normal sliced bread. I'm tired of hearing about that preposterous myth. Please, you are no Super Saiyan. <laughs> It's no myth. I'm strong enough now to take on even that freakish transformation of yours. Transformation? He could transform? You say transformations? What are you talking about, Vegeta? A small number of people throughout the universe have the ability to transform when needed. Some camouflage themselves with it, while other beings use it to conserve their energy. My transformation serves another purpose, I'm afraid. You see, my power is so great that I struggle to contain it at times. What did you just say? He's bluffing. Relax. He doesn't have that much power. Oh, you think so? You know, I recall when I took over Planet Vegeta. I hadn't a need to transform in order to subdue you simian barbarians. And your king. That's right, Vegeta. Your planet was nothing special. Not even your father. Pretty small, a little bit. <laughs> I wouldn't be so cocky him. if I were you. My father's <laughs> That'd be hilarious, that was the case. In comparison to mine now. Ah, so it was Frieza that destroyed the Saiyan planet. Go on, transform. Show us what you really look like, Frieza. <laughs> Very well. If you wish to die that badly, then I'm more than happy to oblige. Oh, I don't think he transforms you. You're in for a rare treat. I Nobody thought we fight him at least once in his first form. This form. I think he's now out of punting distance. Or punting size. <laughs> Careful now. Just stop someone's this face. This won't be like before, and I won't be gentle. Perhaps you've noticed my <laughs> massive increase in power. V Vegeta's face. In terms of power level, I would say it's over one million. <gasps> over one the million? One. So yeah, this is kind of the point where power levels are just fucking meaningless. <laughs> oh my, you look rather scared, Vegeta. Like there were a thing in the Saiyan saga and it was just like, oh, I now have a power, power level of a million. Ha ha ha. It's like, okay, sure. You know, when like over 9,000 was a lot? Yeah, it's now like, okay, who gives a fuck? <laughs> About you. <laughs> Grillin, no. Grillin. Wow, doesn't even shake what him. Have you done to him. Power of minus one. Nah, you've got at least like. I mean, okay. How how strong are you compared to a farmer with a shotgun? And then we and then we can figure out everyone's power level that way. Because a, a norm a, a overweight farmer with a shotgun was a power level of five. So, 
They wrote him coming? Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. It, that's not a, is that a DBZ, DBZ8 thing? Oh no, that's just a bridge. I think they overdo it, but I'm pretty sure in the show he does like shake him a little bit to like really jab into him. Except my spot. Okay. Wow, I can't imagine getting angry would increase your power level. That'd be weird. Oh, so that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Yay, level 27, level 30. Hey.